All right, in my video today, I'm going to give you a hello world demo of OpenBOM data model. You're familiar with this hello world demo of programming language when you learn how to write a one line application that does something. So this is what I'm going to do now with OpenBOM. And I will demonstrate you how to use and understand the OpenBOM data model with just a few clicks. So you see a simple account, open account, you can register this account with OpenBOM online at any moment of time. So I am creating a new catalog where I will be storing all my items. So all my data, all my items for my very simple example, I will create a catalog and I will call this catalog food. I, I like to explain build materials using food paradigm. It's, it's very easy to understand. So I will set up part numbers for the food catalog with the prefix and I will set up a range from 000, 000 with step one to 999. It's enough part numbers for me to have. And I will select a separator. I like it to be separated. So this is my catalog and those are my settings. So I created catalog for food. And you can see that I have a default properties that OpenBOM always does here. I recommend you to leave them. You have part number, thumbnail, commodity on head description and cost. So, and I will start adding items. So you see part number is automatically generated. And now let's put uh, some food. So I'm going to make a cake. So my cake will require some cheese and some sugar and some milk. So let's create a cheese. Let's create uh, milk and let's create uh, sugar so I will imagine that I can put some cost information uh, and um, well I, I don't need to do anything else I already have this sing single record of items that I can use in my bill materials but just to add to this a little bit more fun Let's just search for sugar online and show how easy I can get and put this image directly in my bomb. All right, great, I got the sugar. To make bomb visuals, it's very important. And now I am going to search for cheese <coughs> online. So that's gonna be my cheese and for my uh, visionary cake. So this is the cheese and now what is uh, remaining part is milk. So let's put some milk and uh, the milk I like. So let's put the glass of milk. So you see we get items. So this information is already enough to start doing something, what is missing here? I have items for ingredients, but I don't have an item for cake itself. Because remember, catalog has everything. Ingredients, standard part, engineering part, manufacturing part, everything. So I need to create an item for cake. So here's my cake. And let's uh, search for cheesecake, my favorite. So let's add this to the uh, catalog. So here's what we have. We have ingredients and we have uh, all information that we needed in the catalog to manage information. So uh, to make it more realistic, I can uh, always add any additional information to the catalog. And this is what done by custom properties in OpenBOM. So I can add additional property and let's put a supplier. So I put supplier and uh, I am, that's made at home. I'm buying sugar in uh, stop and shop and milk 
oh, so you stop in Shepherd Valley if I can always copy paste very quick. All right, so done. Uh, so what is the next step? The next step is we organize the data uh, in uh, the catalog. Now we can create build materials. So the easiest way to create build materials is just do it directly from a catalog. So uh, we see this cake and I want to create a build materials for my product and my product is cake. So I am opening item bomb. Open bomb tells me as bomb doesn't exist, create. Great, we created a bomb and the bomb is already created, ready to uh, add information. And we can add information manually or we can get information from a catalog. So we can search for parts and we can search for parts that we had from this catalog. You see, very easy. I am picking cheese, insert it in a bomb and then say a quantity is uh, 200 grams. And now I can pick up another item and I'm going with the same search function and I put uh, sugar and I put a uh, quantity. And now I put uh, another item and this is uh, milk. So I got a milk inserted and I got milk. So all together, we get bill of materials. Now watch this. We can always see this information uh, coming from catalog to BOM because the uh, catalog is the central uh, database of all information. So if I will be changing data in a catalog, let's say the milk now more expensive, 350, it will be always changed in all bill of materials. So if I created another bill of materials, let's create now just for um, kicks and giggles, I will create uh, another bill of materials. So I can create bill of materials for my uh, spare products. So I can put any part number I want. I can select a catalog. And those are my spare products. So my spare products would be only milk. So I can search for milk. I can put the spare product bomb uh, here. And that would be the quantity. Now pay attention. Like I said, the reference instance data model, there is a single version of true the catalog. I'm changing it to another cost, coming back to all places, the data is changing. So that was your hello world application of OpenBOM data model. I hope you like it. Register OpenBOM account, try it by yourself and come back to us with questions. I look forward to hear from you. Thank you very much and talk to you soon. Bye bye.